The main issue for many residents of Ouagadougou is the fact that if the Sunday deal is signed, General Gilbert Diendere and his troops would be given amnesty for acts committed during the coup in exchange for returning power. If someone reacts the way they did, do they deserve an amnesty? This isn't right. We're not saying the ECOWAS intervention wasn't good, but we'll never forgive them. Not today, not tomorrow, because there were casualties. What we are asking now is that they return power to Michael Cofando so that he can organise an election campaign. Mediator and Senegalese President Marquis Sall announced the deal a day after pro-coup demonstrators and Presidential Guard soldiers attacked the hotel where talks were taking place. In the deal, general elections have been pushed to November 22nd and candidates with links to former President Blaise Compaoré to be reinstated in the upcoming election. The candidates were excluded from the poll by a new law put in place by the transitional government, this being one of the main reasons for the takeover last Wednesday. I think even the CDP candidates must know that men with integrity wouldn't return and stand for elections because it's their fault if all of this happened and some people died. According to the draft agreement, President Mikhail Kafando would be restored as head of the transitional government, though the body's military members would be excluded, a move likely aimed at eliminating Prime Minister Isaac Zida, seen as Diendere's chief opponent. President Sal says he will submit the proposal to a summit of heads of states in Nigeria on Tuesday. It remains to be seen whether the unsigned agreement will be accepted. Catherine Ogunde, CCTV.